What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle Nine Seven Two back here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. We defeated Doom Gaze. We got the Bahamut Magicite, and now we are here at a place that we have not been to yet, where it all began. Narsh. Now, here's one thing else you gotta know. Whenever you return, we, uh, we if you remember uh, at the Cult of Kafka. The, the cultist tower there was a man there who told us that there was somebody looking for us now as I said there was somebody that was actually there looking for us eh, what are you doing here it doesn't really matter nothing left anyway there's only one moogle still around and the only treasure hunter could pick that lock hmm a lock huh like I said do you remember the cultist tower the owner of the weapon shop in Nars was looking for an ex returner now it's time to find him now let's go find the uh, weapon shop real quick. Let's see. Okay. And with lock on your team, you can pickpocket anything. Alrighty. Let's see. He's got to be around here somewhere. There he is. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to give you this. I ran a weapon shop for seven years. This zone gives off an eerie aura. If I melted it and forced it into a sword, it'd be powerful. Well... Okay, this is a very, very, very crucial decision you have to make. Because... Of course, we can have it as a stone, or the magicite known as Ragnarok. Or we can turn it into a sword, which, by the way, is very, very, very powerful. This is the only one you'll actually be able to get. The others, uh, the other one, you'll actually have to steal elsewhere. What we're going to do is we're going to take the stone, the magicite known as Ragnarok. And why do we need the uh, uh, magicite Ma uh, Ragnarok? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Let's see. Oops. Where are you? Where are you? turns an enemy into an item, and this is the only magicite that will teach you the ultimate magic, Ultima. Alright, moving on. Let's go lurking around, shall we? Alrighty, let's see. Where else do we need to go? Um, no shops, no nothing. Alright. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's see. This place is very strange. And I do mean this though, because I'm so used to this scene, you know, just, you know, riddled with other, other things as well. But, yeah, not much has really changed in the mind though. You just, you find weaker enemies, that's about it. Okay. This is where the, uh, the original Esper was. Here, let's backtrack real quick. Okay, let's go this way. What do we got here? Now it's been forever since I've been to the Narsh mazes. Let's see. Now before anything, let me uh, heal up real quick. Okay, let's see. Man, I was not aware that Narsh was going to have so many random encounters. Oh! What do we have here? Where we fought Kefka the first Oh! I'll be a motherfuck! Okay, hang on a second. Okay, before we engage this dragon, hang on a second. I'm going to get rid of Raiden real quick. And add Palador. Uh let's see. With actually, I will give uh Okay, Ruma. Go with that. And instead of Fenrir, we're gonna put Zone Seek in. I'm gonna tell you this right now: the Ice Dragon is small, but he packs a wallop. All right, here we go. Twenty-four thousand four hundred HP. Oh yeah, and there's that, the Northern Cross. You'd best be frozen. I'd rather not be, but okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can remedy that real quick. 
while we do that, we're gonna haste everybody. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Oh yeah, then there's that too. Okay, tier three. Now the Ice Dragon has this in this amazing ability to be able to freeze everybody, so don't let this happen very often. Okay, that Northern Cross does work on him. Really? Really saving? Ugh, okay. Time to morph. There we go. God damn it, Edgar, stop doing that! I don't understand why he does that. I really don't. And I don't understand why this fucking thing keeps failing me. That shit does not fail me, ever. You don't fail me. There we go. Keep this damage going. Kind of a bit of a rough start, but... Oh! Okay, that's starting to piss me off. I've put, I've put it in every uh, correctly every single time. Oh, well, not like it doesn't matter, though, so... It's the controller. There you go. You know what they say, though? When you hit the controller, it begins to work. So stop fucking up. Ten magic points, a four shield. Four dragons left, everybody. Way to go. Take the save point real quick. Let's heal up real quick. Nope. Ah, alrighty. Gonna save real quick. Let's go looking up here. Real. That last battle, after that last battle, now my controller wants to finally agree with what I do. And right here... Look what we have here. Tridutch. This was the first episode that we saw in the very beginning of the game, and for some reason... Ugh. I fucking hate this undead bullshit. Hang on. Revivify. Okay, let's see. We are going to haste everybody. And Terra is going to heal. Now, Tridich has 30,000 HP. Hang on, let me see if I can steal something from him. Okay, we need to be offensive. Very, very, very much on the offensive on this side. Now, what's he gonna, what he's going to do is going to start attacking your, your magic. He's going to start trying to drain your shit, too. Okay, he doesn't have anything, so that's, that's okay. Let's see. Just to be on the safe side. Let's see. Cold dust. Uh-oh. Frozen again. Hang on. See if I can remedy that. Okay. Let me see if I can get Terra to morph, too. Oh, I don't remember how to get rid of that. Uh-oh. This is getting too close. This is getting way too close. Don't you fucking freeze. Don't you fucking freeze. Time to pummel it again. Oh, wonderful. Maybe this will help. Ooh, then there's that. Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll take a risk. Maybe this will help. Yep, had a feeling. Okay, we're gonna chainsaw it up. Oh, oh yeah. Then then the uh, yeah. There's that. Okay. Alright, Tara. Show us your best. Okay. Let's heal up. A little too close to cold. Alright, stay on the offensive. Start drilling. 
Oh man, it's been too long since I played this game. <laughs> Especially this part too. I vaguely, vaguely remember fighting Tritich. I think that's how you pronounce his name, it's Tritonch or Tritich. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so blitzes are the way to go, and so is magic. Come on, Terra. <sighs> Can only get better from here. Can only get better from here. There we go. Congratulations, we now have Tridic as an Esper. Whew. You humans freed me from the prison of ice. You possess Magicite? Who are you? I sense a war and destruction. Could that stupid war possibly have lasted a thousand years? I can tell you that you want to put a stop to this madness. Let's see if you are worthy. That's two pieces of magicite we've gotten on this episode. Alrighty. Let's see, what Terra's in? Terra's almost learned life three. What do you say? Let's hop into the cliff. Yeah, I think we should do it. Okay, there was something that I forgot to do. There's actually another member that we have to recruit here. Like I said, there's another member that we can recruit here. Just gotta go looking a little bit deeper though. And hopefully uh, this character will solve uh, this random battles problem that we're having. Keep going upwards. Kapo! Don't scare me like that! Can you talk? <laughs> Human loving, fast talking, street smart, slam dancing Moogle! Say hello to Mog, everybody. That cycled. Rumor came to me in a dream and told me I'd be expecting you. And now I'm gonna join your party. Say, we could use some Sasquatch muscle. Besides, he'd be helpless here without me. He's somewhere in the mines. Once we find him, I'll order him to join us. And check this out. We just received the Moogle Charm. Now, I believe Mog is the only person who can, who can uh, equip it. Let's see if I can find it real quick. No random enemy encounters. Fucking A, right? But only Mog can equip it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to warp out of here, go get Mog, equip him, and then we'll be back. Alrighty, and we are back. Now, if you ask me, this game needs random encounters. But, I've got to tell you this. When it comes to random encounters... <clears throat> excuse me. But when it comes to random encounters, I've got to be honest with you. I am not a fan with the high ratio of random encounters. It's a little ridiculous. It really, it really is. Now... But like I said, you know, with really, really, really high random encounter uh, ratios, it really slows the pro uh, progress of the game down. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that no video game or no RPG back then should not have random encounters, but Chrono Trigger was a perfect example of being able to dodge when you wanted to fight and fight when you didn't want to. So, and for this being a Final Fantasy game, I gotta tell you, this was really, really, really ridiculous. Even for back then. Matter of fact, I don't even remember this much. You know, such a such a ratio for it. 
But since we've got this out of the way, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down in this cave. And we're going to continue into the Yeti's cave. Okay. Let's see what we can find. An X ether? Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's uh, some drop zones here. So, let's go search it around. Now, what we want to look for is Mog's buddy. Oh, I get it now. I just saw him on the ground. Those little holes that you see, those are your little drop zones. Okay, so we need to do the best we can to avoid them. Oh, damn it. Okay, I thought I saw something. Let's see. I was just seeing things. Okay, what do we got? A gauntlet? Oh, that's good. Hmm. Son of a bitch! Okay. Don't trust the switches. Uh oh. I think I just fell into more trouble. What's with this carving? It looks like a bone. There's something in that eye. Oh, magicite? Yes, let's take the magicite. Receive the magic. <gasps> Toronto! Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? Uh oh. That's a. That's a. Uh... Okay, apparently that's Umaro. Okay. Let's, uh, oh, I remember that. Okay, let's, uh, have, um, Mog dance a little bit. Time to chainsaw it up a little bit. Now, Umaro physically is powerful, but not too bad. He ain't too bad at all, actually. He's only got 17,200 HP. So let's fight him and let's take him down. Fight the Yeti! Okay. Now, usually, a little trivia here, whenever you fight him, and if he's not that powerful, well, what can I say? He'll use a green cherry, and then he'll gain Regan, Safe, and Shell. I'm your boss! Get the You're gonna join us! Admirer of bone carvings, as strong as a gigas, a Sasquatch pal with muscle, a Sasquatch pal with muscle. This is probably one of the most random characters you'll ever get, but Umaro comes in handy. Ooh, me Umaro. Yes, boss. Me join you. Umaro, no slouching now. Hmm. Oh, me wait for you and big airship. Whoa! And we are done with Narsh. A lot, a lot, a lot of progress done today. And I think we're going to end it here. Three pieces of Magicite. Two new characters. Here, let's see what Toronto is. I don't remember. Let's see. Where is he at? Toronto. Earth Elemental. Quake, Quarter, and get this. Whirlwind. More powerful magic. Wind. Oh, this right here is basically just Demi. If you remember. And of course, this is really, you know, the only Earth Elemental magic you can really learn. But, really good uh, level up perks too. 30% HP. Alrighty. Thank you, Mog. So we're going to end it here, everybody.
Narsh was not bad at all. Much love and peace!